Yes, Minister, I agree with you. I see now that there is a moral dimension to everything. Will you tell the press about the communications room, or shall I? <laughs> All the scotch in Cumrah. You mean to tell me that if, if I say, th then you must tell me and drop me in the in the in the moral dimension. But this is completely different. It's not the same thing at all. Why? Well, drinking, it's not corruption. No, it's just deceit. That's all. It's we have deceived the Qumranis. I am racked with guilt. <laughs> Tormented by the knowledge that we have violated their solemn and sacred Islamic law in their own country. Sooner or later, we'll have to own up and admit that it was all your idea. It was. It was. <laughs> was it? Is it 50 lashes or 100? <laughs> Minister, I must ask you to meet this journalist or she'll write something terrible anyway. Oh, yes, yes, all right, yes. What am I going to say? Well, may I suggest that attack is the best form of defence? Yes, attack. Attack, yes. Good thinking, Humphrey. Yes, got it. Minister, may I introduce Miss Jenny Goodwin from The Guard? Ah, oh, do come in. Sit down, won't you, Jenny? I may call you Jenny, may I not? If you like. Now, what seems to be the trouble? Two things, really, Minister. Mm. Both of them rather worrying to the public. Uh, the first is a story that you may have seen in the French press. It's about corruption in BES getting the Qumrani contract. Complete nonsense. But uh, they quoted reports of payments to officials. Really, this is absolutely typical. A British company slogs its guts out to win orders, create jobs, earn dollars, and what does it get from the media? A smear campaign. But if they won by bribery... There is no question of bribery. I've had a full internal inquiry, and all these so-called payments have been identified. What as? Uh, Commissioner fees, <laughs> administrative overheads, operative costs, managerial surcharges, Your introduction expenses, miscellaneous outgoings. We have looked into every brown envelope. Every, <laughs> every account book and everything is completely in order. I see. And may I say one further thing? Allegations of this nature are symptomatic of a very sick society for which I'm afraid the media must take its share of the blame. The media? Why are you putting thousands of British jobs at risk? I am calling on the press council to censure the press for its appalling lack of professional standards in running this story. The council, and indeed the House of Commons, must be concerned about the standards which have applied in this disgraceful matter. And pressure will be brought to bear to make sure that this sort of gutter press reporting is not repeated. I see. <clears throat> well, um, there is this other question. It's about the uh, rosewater jar apparently presented to you in Qumran. Yes. Well, I saw it in your flat, actually. Well, yes, we're keeping it there temporarily. Temporarily? Oh, yes, it's very valuable. Mrs. Hacker said that it was an imitation. Burglars, girl, burglars. <laughs> You've got some. <laughs> oh, until we can get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yes, I'm presenting it to our local museum as soon as I get up to the constituency at the weekend. Well, I can't hold on to it, you know. It's government property. Now, what was your question? 